I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? I'm not even gonna lie. I thought she was so badass when she didn't even take a second to think about whether or not she was gonna leave him. She just did it. She didn't even flinch. And Red is still in shock over the fact that Joy really left. He seriously thought she was gonna give in like she always does. But she didn't. So what is a man to do? He's at a loss for words. He doesn't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> Y'all, I have been having throat problems. Okay, anyway, he doesn't know what to do. So he calls her again and again and again and again. He literally begs her to come back and get him. He's like, baby, I love you. I'll never do this again. I'm going to man up. I want to be your husband. I want to be your provider. And I want to be a father to Sway. He says all the right things. I'm like, oh my God, Joy's definitely going to fall for this because he's telling her essentially everything a girl wants to hear. But our girl, without hesitation, shuts it down. <laughs> she says she'd rather have no company than fake. Woo, that is so good. Somebody write that down on a card and send it to Liz. I was like, holy shiitake mushroom, Joy is a lot stronger than I ever gave her credit for. So he begs and begs and begs and begs, and she stands her mother effing ground and refuses to get <laughs> So what does he do? He calls over and over again. He texts her. He leaves her voice messages, text messages. I mean, he won't give her a break. He's just basically doing whatever he can to try to get her back. And I guess that finally got to her. She broke. <laughs> And I can't even blame her. I mean, if a guy is begging, like literally saying, sorry, I'll never do this again. I just want to start a brand new life. I want to be the husband that you deserve. I want to be the father that Sway deserves. I can see how a girl might give in. But I was very, very, very disappointed. She turned her car around to go get him. This is my advice for anybody going through a breakup or who wants to get over a heartbreak. You have to block them on everything. No, you cannot be friends. No, you cannot be friends with benefits. No, you cannot be cordial. No, you need to block their phone number, block them on all your social media, and you need to delete everything, throw away everything, get rid of every single thing that came from your relationship or that'll remind you of the relationship or your ex. Listen, I was broken up with three times. I was absolutely gutted. I was heartbroken, but I'm super cutthroat. Like I am, I'm determined to not waste a single second over this guy. So basically I'm on a mission to get over it as soon as I can. So I cut them off. Like I, I treat them like they're dead. I block them on everything. I do not answer their calls. I do not answer their text messages, DMs, emails, nothing. If they send it to me, I don't even read it. It's immediate delete. And here's the tough part. I don't know why, but a lot of us tend to think like, oh, I just want closure. I need to know what happened or what changed or I just need answers. Or some of us are like, oh, I wonder if he's going to reach out to me just in case he changes his mind. Or I want to know what he's up to or I want him to know what I'm up to. D none of that matters. It doesn't work. Just block and delete. Block and delete and repeat. Okay? And trust me, you will get over this person in a month, like at most. I feel like I give a week, like a full week for every year of the relationship. So I was with my, my longest relationship was like almost three years. So I got over him in three weeks and it was amazing. Now it is very, very hard. The temptation is real, but just stick with it. You have to cut them off, period. And so I wish Joy Nomi, instead of listening to that voicemail, she just deleted it. You know, she was doing so good, so good. But yeah, this is why I tell everybody, do not date someone you work with because that is hell when y'all break up. My friend dated her coworker and they had a nasty breakup because he cheated on her and Oh, God bless her. She just gave him another chance over and over again. And it was hard for her to cut him off because she had to see him every single day. It was to the point where she felt like she was going back to him so many times and she couldn't cut him off that she wanted to quit her job. But then why should she be the one to quit? Like he was the asshole. He was a cheater. Like, why does she have to quit and move? 
just don't do it. Do not date someone you work with. Back to Joy Nomi. She arrives back at Red's mom's house and he is so relieved. He's like, oh my God, my baby's finally here. He's like, baby, I love you so much. I was so depressed without you. And Joy's like, don't play any more games with me. And he's like, I promise I won't. You can check my phone anytime you want. And she's happy with that answer. So, okay, done. She's happy, he's happy, they're both happy, and they're both excited for a brand new beginning. So they're driving back, and she's like, you know what, there's a rage room right here in Missouri. Like, I'm about to leave the state. Why don't we go to the rage room and let's destroy everything as a way to symbolize us destroying our past lives so that we can move on and start anew. So he's like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. So she drives into a rage room, and they put their gear on, and they're going at it. Red starts banging on stuff saying, this is for my entire 20s being taken away from me. This for my entire 20s being taken from me, man. But like, bro, was it that it was taken away from you or was it that you were just dealing with the consequences of your actions? And then he goes, this is for the dude who got you pregnant. Boom, 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 boom. This one for the bitch that got you pregnant. Awkward. Now it's Joy Nomi's turn. And she's like, this is for all the bitches you've been talking to. Bam, bam. And this one's for you breaking my trust. Bam, 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 bam. He's like, damn, she's not playing around. How the heck am I supposed to tell her about Julie? How am I supposed to tell her that I forked another girl the night before while she was going around town looking for me. Basically, he tells a producer that he's not going to tell her because <laughs> he knows if he tells her after all that, after finally getting her back, that she would never, ever come back. Like for sure, for real, 1000%, she's never coming back. And he can't have that. So he's not going to tell her. That's pretty much how the season ends with them. And they are going to be on the next season of Life After Lockup, which is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be interesting because we already know that they're not together. But yeah, I am curious to know how she finds out. And I would love to see her finally walk away and never give him a second chance. Well, that's it for the recap. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, and by the way, I did want to thank everybody for being so lovely and supportive about my personal update and the journey that I'm going to be going on. Uh, thank you guys. That was really, really sweet. A, a common question that I've gotten is how did I learn to love slash accept myself? And that, holy crap, that was a long and hard journey way harder than getting over a breakup or the worst heartbreak of my life. And um, I will make a video on that. So I, I've i been thinking about maybe starting a vlog channel, but of course it's going to be faceless. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, when are you going to reveal your face? Face reveal. Um, It'll happen when I reach 1 million subscribers, which means it's never going to happen. <laughs> I just feel more comfortable this way. I hope you guys understand. And um, yeah, so my vlogs are going to be like my real life, but just not showing my face. You'll see my body though. You will see my body and you'll see everything else about me, like how messy my room is, my apartment, my dogs. If you're uncomfortable with fat people, with uh, people who have rolls, cellulite, stretch marks, Rolls upon rolls, double chin, triple chin. Like if you're just uncomfortable, aka if you're fat phobic, don't go to my vlog channel, please. Okay. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, um, I will share a link in the future. Not yet. I'm a little nervous, but yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go now. Bye.